Today we're going to run quite a lot because it's load runner. Yeah, I don't get it either. Well, Load Runner is, um, well, there is an aspect of a strategy to it, so, uh, it might be a strat, no, it, it, it's a, it's primarily a platforming game, uh, one that originated on 8-bit hardware, on game, on computers, and not in the arcade. Weird. I've had two games that have moved to the arcade so far. Um, so, what is your objective? You need to collect gold items, treasures, uh, in 150 levels at two different uh, stages of difficulty. So, in total, 300 levels. And what can you do to do so? Uh, well, you can run, you can use ladders, um, you can climb along bars, um, oh, and, and collect the gold, of course. Um, you can also kind of dig holes, even though they are temporarily, only, temporary only, um, and those holes allow you to trap your enemies. Yes, you have enemies here, and um, that's a good thing, because otherwise this game would be a walk in the park. There is no jumping, only falling. And when you have collected all the items in one level, all the gold in one level, a secret letter pops up into existence, uh, or it pops down from the uh, screen above. And you can use that ladder to get to the next stage. Screen. Level. Uh, whatever. As you can tell from the in-game footage you're seeing. Um, yeah. This game is pretty minimalistic in its approach. Uh, using this for brick wall design to um, show you where walls are or floors um, very very simple man shaped characters and the white one by the way is your player character and as you can hear there is no background music all you're hearing is actually my room noise. Um, the game has a few sound effects, but I have no way of um, capturing them at the same time. But I personally think the lack of music um, it helps you concentrate on the focus. It helps you to focus on the uh, on the task. And remember when I said something about three hundred levels. Well, uh, this game has a bug. Basically a game premise breaking bug. You can't reach level 300. Uh, technically speaking, there is no level 300 you can reach. Because there are technical reasons and it's time for a new <laughs> segment maybe uh Derek Hork teaches retro tech so to speak the Commodore 64 was 
still is an 8-bit machine, just like the Famicom, uh, the NES, um, most computers of that time. Uh, an 8-bit machine can store values, data, in these 8 bits at once. It can only access 8 bits at once. And 8 bits, if you ever had some computer science, that's a byte. That's where megabyte, gigabyte, terabyte come from. You can use a byte, those 8 bits, to represent any whole number, uh, any positive whole number, or zero. That means you can represent up to the number 255. That's the maximum you can show because a bit a byte has um, 256 states ways it can look um, because a bit can only be on or off. Modern computers on the other hand and uh, that includes the Java Virtual Machine, um, allow you to use more bits to um, store whole numbers in. Those so-called integers, um, that's how, what they are called in computers. Um, um, they can use a 16-bit systems or 32-bit systems. So if you ever wondered what really is the difference between a 64-bit version and a 32-bit version, well it's the fact that the uh, storage for numbers is a whole lot bigger. Therefore you can store larger numbers or um, if you are using these to calculate things well, you have a lot more space for your floating point numbers. But since Loadrunner used one byte, used 8 bits, to store its uh, level number, well, after level 255 was played, it tried to reach the next one. But, unfortunately, that means it goes back to zero. That's uh, called a rollback. Uh, no, uh, not a rollback, a rollover. If you, for example, have a car, you can um, kind of see the same effect. If you look at the set last digit uh, on the mile, or the uh, kilometers, if your car is uh, using kilometers. Um, well, if you drive 10 of, e of either, 10 miles, if your car is, is at 2 miles, um, or kilometer, 10 kilometers, if your car is at 2 kilometers. If you look at the last digit, someone around... Uh, so I don't know how much, how many miles you have on or how many kilometers, but somewhere during that ride it will turn go nine zero, the last number only, the last digit. And that's kind of what happens here. It rolls from the actual maximum amount that one byte can show, 255, to the minimum amount that bot can show, which of course is zero. So, we've learned a bit about computers, a bit about uh, how numbers are, can be stored, very little about that, but it helps explain something, because let's face it, not everyone knows it. Um, Oh, and uh, that Load Runner is more or less an endless looping game. Even though there are probably people who object to that and say that it becomes unplayable at a certain state. Well, 
But that's low runner for you. Um, and if you're wondering where you can play it nowadays, well, there are plenty of ways. Uh, there have been remakes and, um, well, variants galore uh, for the PC, for example. Um, you can play it uh, on your Wii Virtual Console. You can play it on your Nintendo DS. Um, you can play it via Xbox Live Arcade. You can even play it on your iPod. Don't know how to do that. And next time we're in Chicago, or uh, maybe it's Pixels Down, I don't know. But the uh, game's name sounds kind of familiar. I believe every one of you ever heard of a game called Mafia.